And in Canada, every time we stop to do something, it's either coffee break or smoke break. Welcome guys, how's it going? Hook, line, and Kyle P coming at ya. Sorry I sound a bit stuffy, but yeah. I got a cold. I'm getting over a bad flu, sorry. And today, I'm gonna DIY something for ya. Stay tuned. Yes, today, I am finally putting a floor in my Seahawk 4. Well, thanks to ever turning on the compressor. Okay, so what I did was I took four mil poly, I put it over the top. I traced around it, and where you want to trace, if you want a good fit, is not the first seam, but the second seam right here. Trace it all around, and then when you're done that, cut it. Now we take a knife and trace it out. When you cut it, say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> you get something like this. One giant form, you just trace around. So all we're doing is just smoothing it out, and then taping her. And that's what you want to do, smooth it out, make sure there's no wrinkles, and then tape her down. And then you can either mark it around there with another marker, or you can cut it. So the tools for this, you're going to need either a jigsaw, you can use a scroll saw if you want to, to shoot down the, the side there. But you definitely need a jigsaw to be doing the, the corners. Because then I'm going to make them nice and smooth by sanding them. And then when I sand it, I'm going to put the carpet on top of it. <clears throat> and guys, don't worry. If the bottom of your floor is too wide, you can always, always... Make sure you do it wider than you're supposed to. But me, I like to give it a bit more. And if I give it a bit more, then I have some tolerance to play with. Instead of making it too small, then you're like, oh shoot, I can't glue the uh, pieces back on. So, oh, compressor again. All right, well, I kind of just made this part a little wider. Right. So if we can have, if we have to play with it, that's cool. So, do a fair safety classic? On my face. Are there safeties? Yeah. What these ones? No, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not gonna cut saw horses. Alright, let's go. What are you on? What's up? Oh, okay. Go ahead. Now using the palm sander after the bell sander to finish her off. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> well, if you're doing laundry, it'd be rinse and repeat, but this one would be flip and repeat. So you guys, what I did there was, I sanded the top, flipped it, sanded the bottom, and I sanded the edges and sanded about three inches in on each side. So you know that you're gonna have a nice finish.